In this video, we'll be talking about the differences between M1 and M2 macrophages. So macrophages are phagocytotic cells of the innate immune system. Macrophage can engulf pathogen and they have two different flavors, M1 and M2 macrophages, which has their distinct characteristics, different clinical relevance, different surface markers, and many more. So let us try to understand the overall biology of M1 and M2 macrophages, when they are activated in these states, and how they're relevant from a clinical point of view. So M1 macrophages can basically engulf pathogens such as bacteria and they use reactive oxy oxygen species or reactive nitrogen species to kill these particular pathogen using a process known as respiratory burst. I have a different video on respiratory burst. If you want to look at it, please click on the I button. Anyway, they can also kill the pathogen via lysosome mediated degradation and uh, they also secrete cytokines. Many of these cytokines are pro-inflammatory in nature, so they are potent drivers of inflammation. In fact, these M1 macrophages are the key driver of chronic or prolonged inflammation. In contrast, M2 macrophages secrete cytokines which are anti-inflammatory in nature. So overall, they are in context of immune modulation, their job is totally reverse than the M1 macrophages. Also, they secrete TGF beta, which acts like a tissue repair and fibrosis modulator. So obviously, uh, M2 macrophages has a lot of function in terms of he wound healing and tissue repair. Also, they are known in context of fibrosis. So in this video, let's talk about and compare these two macrophages from various perspective. Anyway, the M1 macrophage is getting activated by a pathway called classical pathway and M2 macrophage gets activated by an alternate pathway. So the cytokines that triggers the activation of M1 and M2 macrophages are different. So let's see how M1 macrophages are associated with uh, chronic inflammation, M1 macrophage can present the uh, antigens on class 2 MHC molecule and they can show it to the naive T cell. Naive T cells get activated and M1 macrophage can secrete cytokines such as interleukin 12, 33 and 6, all of which are actually potent inflammatory cytokine that triggers the differentiation of these activated T cells into Th1 and Th17 subcategory. Both these cells are pro-inflammatory in nature. Also, they secrete chemokines, which are chemoattractant molecules that further attract other immune cells to the site of infection, such as macrophage, dendritic cell, or even neutrophils. Now, this particular M1 macrophage acts in a vicious uh, inflammatory uh, cycle and the cycle is completed by the Th1 subpopulation of T cell which secretes interferon gamma. Interferon gamma is a polarizing cytokine which triggers M1 differentiation over M2 differentiation and thereby M1 macrophage is a key and potent driver underlying uh, basically the chronic inflammation and also there are other drivers such as Th1 and Th17 subpopulation. Now let's quickly recap what we learned overall. M1 and M2 macrophages are different in terms of activation. M1 macrophage is activated by uh, the classical pathway, which is basically induced by interferon gamma, lipopolysaccharide from bacterial uh, uh, membrane, then basically TNF alpha, etc. M2 macrophages are activated by interleukin 4, 13 and interleukin 10. Then when it comes to surface marker, M1 macrophage has very high concentration of CD80, CD86 and MHC class 2 molecules. Whereas M2 macrophage in contrast has CD163 and CD206, which is basically mannose receptor. When it comes to function, M1 macrophage has pro-inflammatory function. Obviously, we talked about that M1 macrophage is underlying chronic inflammation. It secretes several inflammatory mediators like IL-1, 6, 12, 23. It has microbicidal activity. It can kill microbes using reactive oxygen and reactive nitric oxide uh, species. It can also lead to tissue destruction, um, which is beneficial in the short term, but could be frightening for a long term uh, situation. M2 macrophages, on the other hand, 
M2 macrophages, on the other hand, produce high level of anti-inflammatory cytokines like IL-10, transforming growth factor beta, etc. They also help in the process of tissue repair and remodeling and they help in immune regulation as well. When it comes to clinical significance, they play a crucial role in defense against bacterial and viral infections. They are involved in pathogenesis of chronic inflammatory disorders such as rheumatoid arthritis, then atherosclerosis, inflammatory bowel disease, etc. M2 macrophages are known in context of tissue repair, but they are also implicated in can, uh, conditions for cancer. If they reduce the immune system activity, then metastasis might be promoted. So there is a fine-tuned balance between it should be there between M1 and M2 activation in context of a disease. So I hope this video was good and informative enough. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Support us using super thanks. See you in next video.